Hello. Following the earlier videos where we demonstrated how to create an account and how to add your mobile number into your account, we are going to see how you can access the TTMS application. You should have downloaded Zoho Creator app into your phone. Depending upon the phone that you have, you can download from Google Play Store or iStore or from Windows Store. I already have Zoho Creator in my phone. I need to click on that. And since I have already logged in through my credentials when I updated my phone number earlier, it will take me automatically into the application. If you have signed out, you need to enter your credentials again to log in. Now you see an icon here, TTMS, which is your training application. You click on that, you will see a set of menus. These are the available options for the teachers now. Let us quickly run through each of these to understand what the functionality is all about. Click on the home button. The system will show you a set of icons and each one has a specific functionality. Uh, if you click on about TTMS, it will show you the concept of the program, what TTMS is all about, what is it aimed at, how is it going to benefit, what are the objectives and features, all these will be there. Now, what are the modules that are available to you for training? You can click on the modules. It will display each module one by one under each subject. For Kannada, you have a set of modules and then followed by Hindi, Mathematics, etc. You can go through each of these to understand what modules are available and what is the ideal module that you want to be trained on. Anytime you cl click this button, it will take you back to the previous menu and the very important thing here is how are you going to apply for the modules only then you will get enrolled into the training program now let me click on the apply module system will show me my credentials because i have already logged in with my email id and password it will show me my email id my kg id etc and then the request date is the date on which you create the request, which is current date. And yeah, this is very important. Please take a minute to follow this closely. There are four modules that you can select for training. And you can select all four at once or you can select partly now and partly later on. And you can also change the priority later on if you have not been nominated into the training there are multiple options in which you can do. So let me select four modules at once now. I am clear on the modules that I want to be trained on. So I am going to uh, select one in mathematics. You click on the particular module and press done. It will create one priority for you. Then click on the second module. Suppose you want to group, you want to search, you want to filter only a set of modules based on subject. You can click on the search button and then type a particular string. Example, you want to find out what are the uh, modules available in Canada. You can just search and then filter that. Okay. Then let me choose one in uh, EBS. Okay. I have done the second selection and I'm going to do the third and fourth one subsequently. Okay, let me do this. Let me choose one in Hindi. And the fourth one, I can probably choose in social science. So I am done. I have selected four modules and I can recheck if I have selected the right modules because based on the priority that you are setting, you will be called for the training. Okay, I am done with my selection. I am going to click on the submit button. The system will save the selections under my name. Now I can view. Yeah, this is the success button that I have got. And I can view the modules that I have selected just to be sure. Yes, I have selected the right ones. And as soon as I select a module, I have selected four modules here. As soon as I do that, the system will also create an SMS for me confirming my selection and listing the four modules that I have selected. 
you can see this this is for your records you can keep it now let me go back to the application if i click on this the system will show me all the four modules mm -hmm. now if i want to edit if i want to change the selection for example i want to change the fourth one into something else i can click on the pencil button that you can see here this is the button that you click to change modify you can do that and accordingly select something else as you wish now i am going back to my home page there are couple of other functionalities that i will demonstrate to you you can have a look at it and then see how you can use we saw this and training enrollment view is nothing but once you are selected once you have nominated yourself into the training and the, when the training is scheduled for your block or district and when you are nominated into the training you will get a confirmation sms on your phone and at that time you can come here and view where the training is going to be done who is the trainer what is the timing what are the dates all that you can see here the next functionality is mark exclusion dates this is a very important component whenever you go on leave or when you go on deputation to some other location or when you are away on a critical official work for some dates you may not be able to attend training during that period and you can create those dates you can define those dates here for example if you are going to be away for two days this week and four days next week you can create those entries here you can define start date as today end date as friday for this week and then following that next week you can create so when you do this when a training is scheduled during this period since you have already put exclusion dates in the system you will automatically be excluded from training in this batch and when it is done next time you will be called for and you can also cancel the mark exclusion any time then the my profile yeah this is where you can modify uh, your mobile number or your address for communication these are the two things that you can modify here you will not be allowed to modify anything else because of security reasons if you want to change something else you need to send a mail to your district or block administrator who will validate the request and then they will carry out the change again if you want to change click on the pencil button it will open up a page where it will show the edit option you can go on change yeah this is where you can change but changing the mobile number here it does not change your mobile number in the earlier place where you created uh, through accounts.zoho.com that is the number in which you will continue to get sms otp sms when you want to change the password so if you want to change that also you need to go back to that place also and change this is basically to get subsequent messages in terms of training scheduled training postponed all those training related messages you will get using this functionality then the last one is settings okay you have done using the application you have created the modules you have seen everything you have created the exclusion dates now when you want to log out you need to click on the settings button here click on the settings button and you come to sign out button click on that system will take you out of the application so this is how you log into the application and select the training modules thank you